In this video, I would like to talk about how to move your coin manage data from one computer to another. Now, this uh, subject comes up quite often, and in most cases, the customer has bought a new computer and obviously wants to move coin manage to his new his or her new computer, along with the data that was being used on the old computer. Or unfortunately, uh, the old computer, the hard drive crashed, or perhaps uh, uh, you have a desktop and then you purchase a laptop and you want to move your coin manage to the laptop uh, along with the data so uh, there's basically three ways of doing this uh, i'm going to present the three different scenarios or three different uh, methods in order of complexity with the most the easiest way to do this is uh, let's pretend here I'm on my old computer running coin manage. Let's say I'm running coin manage 2020, which is what this version is. And uh, what, I, what I'm going, going to do on my old computer is under the tools menu, I select backup data to internet. And that's going to upload, uh, do a backup basically and upload everything to your, to a secure location on the internet. Now, step number two, let's pretend I'm now on my new computer. I have installed CoinManage, and this is important. I've activated it using the same code that I used on the old computer. Uh, when you purchase CoinManage, you'll get an activation code that works for two computers. And uh, if you ever have any problems um, using it on two computers, just email us, and we can take care of it in most instances very quickly. Anyways. So let's say I'm running CoinManage 2020 on my new computer with the same activation code. And after I install it, I run it and I see no data whatsoever. So how do I restore the data? What I'm going to do is simply restore the backup that I did to the internet uh, from the old computer. So I'm going to select tools, restore data from internet backup. And as you can see, it goes through, uh, various machinations and uh here you go this is your old data that you up that you um, backed up in step number one now the second method of moving your database and images to a new computer would be by using a local backup and so this would take place for example let's say you have coin manage 2019 on an old computer um, and you've done a backup, a local backup, and you want to move it to a new computer with a different version of CoinManage installed, for example, CoinManage 2020. Now, the first method I talked about, the internet backup and restore that, that's only going to work if you're going to, if you're moving the data from um, the exact same version of CoinManage, for example, CoinManage Deluxe 2020 on your old machine to CoinManage Deluxe 2020 on your second computer. So let's assume that's not the case. Um, what we're going to do here is going to select File, Backup Database. And once we've done that, it's going to open a, uh, a place where you it's going to ask you where do you want to save this backup. It's going to bring up the default CoinManage uh, backup folder. And it's going to back up uh, both your data file and images to this the file with this name. You can change the name if you want to. So I click Save. It backs up everything. Sometimes I have to click on the uh, collection again to see uh, my coins that I've been that have been entered. Uh, so after that, file again. Go to manage backup files, and it's going to open up the uh, backup folder once again. And as you can see here, it has backed up um, all the data. Now the coin manage uh, backup zip file is very simple. It has a very simple structure. If I open it. Uh, you'll see in this case it just has the the uh, data file now if i've attached any images to my coins it's also going to um, contain uh, jpeg files for every every image that i've attached as well uh, but in this situation that's not the case so after i've done this what i need to do is copy this backup file to the new computer and one way of doing that is as you can see here i have a usb drive which is kind of like a little small detachable um, storage device and I can just drag it to this uh, USB file to the USB uh, drive and just copy it there and as you can see it's now on the USB drive 
Now, once I've done this, I'm going to um, take the USB drive out of this computer, out of the USB port, and plug it into the new computer. So after I've inserted my USB flash drive into a available USB port, uh, and I look in Windows Explorer, I will see the USB drive appear. And the letter may depend. It depends on basically on your computer and how many um, external devices you've ha you have. It, it, it's not always going to be E. It may be F or G. Uh, it basically takes the next available uh, letter and assigns it to the external storage device. So, anyways, I've got the USB drive plugged into my new or target computer, and here's the backup which I transferred from my old computer. Now, what I want to do is copy it to the hard drive. So one way to do that is to right mouse click on the file itself and click copy. Now I'm going to go up here and in most cases I want to move it to somewhere under my this PC documents. And in most cases I will select coin manage. Click paste. And as you can see here I've now moved the backup zip file to coin manage, uh, doc, my documents coin manage. So I'm going to go back and run the program. And you can see here the program has no data in it. Obviously, it's, it's just been installed on the new or target computer. So how do I get my backup into the new installation? I'm going to select File, Restore Backup. And it's going to give me this warning message. Basically, it's telling me I, I, we want to do a backup first before we restore because the restore is going to overwrite your database. So by doing a backup in the worst case scenario, you can, you'll still have anything you've entered uh, into here, but in most cases you should not have, it should be completely empty as you can see here. So I'll click yes. Does it backup? Now it's asking me where is the backup file I want to restore. And in this situation, it's going to be under documents, coin manage. Remember I moved it there. So I click on, I click on the zip file, backup file. Click open. Now when I click on my collection, you'll see the data has been restored. Now the third way to uh, move data from an older version of CoinManage or between com computers um, is to copy the coindesk.mdb file here. And right here I've on my USB drive, I have a coindesk.mdb file. And this is the file that contains all the text data in the program. And in some situations, that's all the user has. Uh, for example, they, they have an old computer from several years ago and they were, they were able to do a backup of the Coindesk. They don't have any uh, you know, zip, zip format backup files. They just have the uh, text file or the database file used by the program itself. And like I said, it's called coindesk.mdb. Now, in this situation, there's a couple of different steps. I'm going to run Coin Manage on the new computer. And once again, uh, due to it being a fresh install, there's nothing there currently. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do here is select File, Go to Data Folder. And that opens up the folder where the data file is meant to be. Now, this is important, I need to exit Coin Manage because as you can see there, that little LDB file, is it's called a lock file. And while the program is, is open, it's present and you cannot um, copy over coindesk.mdb until uh, the program, you've exited the program. Now, this is my current uh, empty Coindesk uh, file and it, I don't want to delete it. It's better to just to give it a name just to be safe it's always good to be safe so I'll call it coin desk 2 now I'm going to go to my USB file USB uh, folder USB drive and I'm going to copy the coin desk from the USB drive I'm going to copy it to coin manage data now what's going to happen now is the program is going to use the new coin desk.mdb which um, I copied previously to the USB drive. So I'm going to run the program again. And as you can see here, it's using the new uh, coindesk.mdb file. Now if, you, now if you copy in an older 
CoinDesk from a previous version, for example, we're currently we're on version 2020. If you have, if you have a CoinDesk.mdb file from version 2018 or 2017, for example, after you've done this, you want to select File, Update Data File. And what this is going to do is update the database with all the latest varieties that we've entered since uh, your, your MDB file was uh, current. So, for example, if you have a data file from uh, CoinManage 2018, we're going to add all the varieties that have been uh, added to the program since then. So, update data file. And as you can see here, it basically does an import with all the latest 2020 coins and things like that. And so once that's done, it's also important to exit the program because sometimes there's a little bit of a problem copying the latest uh, value tables over. So it's best practice just to exit the program and run it again. Once I've done that, I now have my new data as, as expected. And when I click on add coin, um, for example, let's say I want to see if I have the latest 2020 issues for the, for the United States. I'll click on the United States. Shows me all the years available for the USA. Click on 2020, and it seems like it's been updated with the, all the newest, newest issues. Okay, uh, so that's quite a long video. Um, I'm going to try and divide it into sections. Uh, YouTube has a new, um, some sort of chapter feature, which I'm going to try to apply to this video. Thanks as always for watching. Take care and goodbye.